What's up YouTube? Today we're doing the secret sauce of one of the most asked questions in the world which is Chucky, how do I mix my vocals inside of FL Studio? Before we get to the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel because apparently only 60% of y'all are actually subscribed so just subscribe right now and subscribe later if you want to but just subscribe right now and follow me on instagram at chickybeats with a z because somebody else saw my name and if you've got any questions like this be sure to stick around to the end of the video because i might have already answered your question okay so we're inside of my fl studio i loaded up a song that a lot of you might already recognize because to demonstrate my vocal mixing today i've used a song that i made so it's me singing on the mic I'm just also, just be prepared, I'm going to show you guys or let you guys listen to the dry vocals, to the dry recording of me recording a song, which is pretty awkward, but since y'all need to understand what vocal processing can do, I think this one is just, it's for, for the culture, you know, it's for, 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 for you guys to learn. So I'll just take this L of you guys having to listen to my dry recordings, but hey, you guys said I sounded like Travis Scott and whatever, and y'all wanted to really know how I get this certain type of effect and I would say the first thing is learn how to properly perform a vocal recording because it really matters how your voice will sound and how the autotune will be able to tune or grab onto your voice and and tune it it will really depend on how good you perform the actual performance I'm going to let you guys listen to the dry recording right now just don't don't listen to the tone and whatever but just listen to the intensity and to the place where my voice is when I'm recording the the vocal I'm I'm going like ar, 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 you know it's it, it's got a lot of power and a lot of it's got some I don't know the autotune and whatever the the effects can grip that part of the voice that's how it feels in my head got a brand new mic sing it till the morning yeah, I'm flying high, I'm feeling like I'm soaring huh. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga, yeah, they're soaring huh. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring Got a brand new mic, everything huh. Then I fuck it up and hop inside the ring Okay, that wasn't, you know, the best But as you can hear, I'm I'm really going for it, you know And that's what you have to do If, if somebody's on the mic like mm, it won't sound good with whatever processing you do. And also, uh, I was doing some ha, shit, ha, shit. And you know, this gives a lot of energy to the to the actual vocal performance, which is something a lot of people don't really think about when mixing vocals. It's like the, the performance needs to be good as well. So I'm going to let you listen one more time. Also, I stress certain rhythmic points. You go, got a brand new mic every day. You see, I can go like, got a brand new mic every day. But it's not the same as, got a brand new mic every day. You gotta be rhythmic in your performance to get this type of uh, sound. So, now I know y'all are waiting here, yeah, but just show us the effects. I know, but this was really important. So, um, let's just loop this hook, because this is all I did on the song. Um, the first thing I added was uh, I put on uh, so let me mute all of the effects I added the first thing I did was add the autotune uh, Which is the waves real-time tune I use I just put it on the maximum amount of tune uh, I wouldn't recommend to do this for every type of voice, but but for this it just fit what I wanted to go for uh, The first thing you need to do is select the right key for your beat How do I find the key just just get a key finder or you just listen for the key uh, which is simple, you go Got a brand new mic, sing it till the morning Yeah, I'm flying high, I'm feeling like I'm soaring Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga, yeah, they're soaring You a hater The key is G minor uh, So that's the key uh, It's right here uh, You just select that and then you turn it on Got a brand new mic, sing it till the morning Yeah, I'm flying high, I'm feeling like I'm soaring yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga, yeah, they're soaring huh. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring As you can see, I selected the correct vocal range If you can see that there's a lot of notes out of this range Select a better range uh, where your vocal is in Because the autotune will have a better understanding of Okay, I need to keep the vocal within this range And I only receive notes in this range So it's really important to select your range uh, If you have 
uh, vocal performance where for example first you go really low and then you go really high it might be better to put them on two different tracks so you can just optimize each instance of the autotune for that specific part of the vocal so uh, next is an EQ uh, I use Fab filter EQ uh, because you can really control each individual point which is really important for me in the vocal mix I just cut out a lot of the bass me I've cut out until about a hundred and then after that I also cut out a little bit of these uh, low mids right here to just uh, there was this kind of boxy or like a little bit of a whatever going on so I cut that out and I boosted the highs a little bit it's not really necessary but just make sure that you don't over EQ your voice because a lot of people I see them butchering the EQ and it's like it's not really necessary. Like I could, I could, I could have done this. Got a brand new mic, sing it till the morning. Yeah, I'm flying high, I'm feeling like I'm soaring. Get it. It's fire. Only EQ a lot if there's an actual real problem going on in your vocal. Like for example, if there's I don't know uh, some part that you really don't like in your voice, you were going with with too much air or whatever. Then you can EQ that out a little bit. But most of the time, it's pretty it's pretty okay you know you just you can just leave it like that okay so after that I put a compressor but I'm just going to put a different compressor here to just explain you guys the principle of compression a little bit better I'm just going to use the fruity compressor so um, basically how compressor works is you got a threshold which is the level of decibels where the compressor gets activated uh, then you got a ratio which is how much your sound will be compressed by it's like a it's like a ratio so for example um, if it's low if the value crosses the threshold it will act a certain way and if the ratio is higher it will be more aggressive um, and then you've got your attack and your release your attack time is how long it takes after the threshold is being reached for the compressor to start working and the release is how long it takes for it to return to normal so that's basically it, it I know it takes a while to really understand compression but it's actually not that hard like to just understand the basics of it so I'll, I might just explain to you guys like this so I'm just going to play it So now you can see it's gotten pretty quiet because I set a pretty low threshold so everything above minus 27 gets taken down by the compressor. But what I want to do right now is just gain it a little bit more after that so it, 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 it you don't lose as much of the volume and just set a, a slow release time. So what's happening is basically it's letting through all of the initial loud spikes but then after that it's compressing it so I get a good compressed signal but I'm still getting all of the 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 rhythm and the and the and the bounce and every pronunciation of every syllable and word is still coming through that's basically what a fast attack speed and a slow release uh, does it it, it it makes sure that everything is compressed and nothing is too whatever but it will you just gotta have a little bit of the attack to just let some of those frequencies through like that is pretty okay I know it's a little bit uh, compressed really hard that's because I'm using the hard compressor but I hope I did a pretty okay job at explaining compression to you guys. I'm not a professional sound engineer, but I kind of I know what compression does. Just don't overthink compression or think that it's some sort of like crazy ununderstandable thing. It's just it's pretty it's it's a bit pretty basic principle. So after this, uh, I put uh, a Mani Triple D, which is a waste plugin. Uh, which will just help me get out some extra boxy sounds or harshness or I don't use the de -esser, I use a separate de -esser. Uh so yeah that's that's basically what it does Got a mic, sing it till the 
feeling like I'm sorry. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga. Yeah, they're sorry. You a hater. What you do is you just listen for a more for the sounds that you don't want to have. Got a brand new mic in the morning. How I'm feeling like I'm sorry. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga. Yeah, they're sorry. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring. Got a brand new mic every day. And that's pretty okay. I don't need a D harsh on this one because I changed the compressor. So next up is a DSer, which will just get out all of the S sounds. It's set to basic right now, but let me change this to about uh, 3 or 4K. Uh, which is where most of the S sounds that really disturb a recording will be. Got a brand new mic sing it till the morning. Yeah, I'm flying how I'm feeling like I'm soaring. Ha. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga. Yeah, they're soaring. Ha. You a hating nigga cause your life is boring. Really pay attention while the Sing because you if you overdo it, it will make your recording sound like absolute trash. So don't overdo the de -essing, really. It's really important. <laughs> uh, after that, I use the Renaissance Vocals. It's a frequently used plugin uh, for vocals. It just It's a compressor. It thickens it a little bit. It's yeah, it's just fire. It, I don't really know what it does exactly, but everybody uses it and it sounds fire. So just use the shit. <laughs> Got a brand new mic, sing it till the morning. Yeah, I'm flying how I'm feeling like I'm soaring. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga. Yeah, they're sorry. Ha. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring. Got a brand new mic every day. Ha. And then after that, I got one final EQ just to get out some annoying points that, that still was annoying me after this. But this is really just optional. Like, just do whatever you want after that. That's just the basic you process the main voice and then obviously there's no reverb yet or no delay or whatever I would advise you to create separate buses for that and then route your vocal to those buses so for example I've got a reverb bus set up right here with my uh, Valhalla reverb then we just route this uh, vocal track to the reverb bus got a brand new mic sing it till the morning yeah I'm flying how I'm feeling like I'm soaring yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga. Yeah, they're sorry. Ha. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring. Got a brand new mic every day. <laughs> By the way, if you was paying attention to the lyrics, I was I wasn't being serious. Like I wasn't I like I was doing a video about a microphone, that's why I'm saying Austin Audio. So don't pay attention to the lyrics. So that's basically what I did for the main vocal, just quickly processing it. Uh, then I also recorded some backings, uh, put them to a sep separate track. And on that, I pretty much copied the same processing, but then after that, added an instance of CLA effects, which is like an all in one plugin. I know there's a lot of jokes about CLA vocals and CLA effects or whatever, but CLA effects is definitely a really good plugin for uh, backing vocals and everything because it's just got some effects that you always need with backing vocals just inside of one plugin. So I just use it. Uh, it's also routed to the reverb channel. Uh, so it sounds like this before the CLA effects. And with the CLA effects, I've added uh, a filter like this, a little bit of drive so it's distorted, some extra reverb inside of this plugin, some delay and a widener, which will make it just sound. So that's basically everything I added to this quick vocal mix. Obviously, this is not like a fully finished vocal mix you would have to go more in depth into every single part and everything but this is basically how you do basic vocal processing inside of FL Studio. Uh, I want to let you guys listen to the end result but first let's answer some of your questions. What kind of autotune do you use uh, with your artist? Uh, basically what I just said the way is real-time tune because you can put it on your vocal chain and it doesn't cause a lot of latency so you can just record while hearing yourself with autotune which is one of the greatest things ever uh, it, it made me able to just record and just feel good <laughs> what's young Mavu's beat email we'll be right here bro what do you put on the master uh, for my beats always just a soft clipper it's really 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 important just do it because you know it's it's the key for FL Studio beats. Uh, do you got any tips for keeping a beat interesting? Uh, yeah, just use a lot of transition sounds and just if you already had the structure of your beat, 
just go into certain patterns, make them unique and just change the little parts so you can just create a little bit of, of, of a variation to a pattern you already had so it so it doesn't feel like it's looping the whole time it's really important how much time should i spend on a beat there's really not a certain amount of time that you should spend on a beat spend as much time as you want to on a beat but just know that at a certain point you spend enough time so just know when you've reached that point and then just let it go some people they never finish anything because they just can't let something go and you need to if, if you're one of those people get over it and just release shit but don't 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 ever feel like you you can't spend a full day on the beat because some other people are saying oh, i'll make beats in 10 minutes or because i make beats in 10 minutes you can do you can take a full year if you want to uh do you feel like music theory is needed to make beats or not um that's a difficult one because myself i do have uh, classical music theory and everything stored in my brain because I did music class and music school and everything. I guess it's not really needed to make simple beats but if you want to get serious about making music I would say yeah learn music theory because eventually you know you want to make music so then if you want to go far learn music theory. How do I know that my beat is ready for release? When you feel like it's ready for release bro. Just feel everything. Feel your way through life and you'll be good bro. Hey. So let's listen to the end result. Uh, know that I'm not super serious with this track. I just made this in a previous video. If you want to see me make that uh, track, check out the link in the description down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel because apparently only 60% of our audience is subscribed, which is crazy. So just subscribe right now. You can unsubscribe later if you want to, but just right now, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Spotify. It's at Chicky Beats with a Z, and on Spotify, it's just Chicky Beats. So. Enjoy the song, let's go, lunch, bye. bye. Got a brand new mic, sing it till the morning. Yeah, I'm flying how I'm feeling like I'm sorry. Yeah, they're sleeping on me, nigga, yeah, they're sorry. You a hating nigga, cause your life is boring. Got a brand new mic, everything. Fuck it up and hop inside a ring Got that Austrian audio shit cause that's a way Cause I never take a pause in this shit I never wait Fire! Fuck with these videos bro Damn